Oh yeah, sure. Oh my gosh, yeah. 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 Than I thought it was. Really quite warm. Yeah, I could feel it. Imagine that was in your house. Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Alvins. I'm Senior Technology Transfer Fellow for the Thermochemical Storage Group here at Specific IKC. We're looking to capture waste energy from industry. It's a really important piece of research as it's enabled us to have a material that is more stable and uh, hopefully will provide a higher energy density as well with uh, more salt included within the materials. Hi, I'm Jack Reynolds and I'm an NGD student working with M2A in Swansea University. We have successfully uh, synthesised a robust material which is capable of holding three times more salt per unit volume compared to the vermiculite. It's also three times more thermally conductive and on top of that, using the current synthesis process that we use, we can design the beads at a specific size and shape to best fit the application. The beads are made up of 80% calcium chloride salt and that's the thermally active material. So when we apply a humid air stream which contains water to the, to the beads, a reaction takes place where we form a hydrated salt and this gives out heat energy. And then on the reverse when we put heat energy in from something like industrial waste heat, uh, these break down the chemical bonds, releasing water, and that's where we store our heat energy potential for the next cycle. The potential impacts are we can actually take the project onto the next level. This material will provide a baseline for us for a more stable material. So we can take this through into the industrial projects, uh, working with the likes of Tata Steel, where we can actually start to harvest waste heat energy using these materials. The plans are to continue the work on the cyclic nature of the materials, and then actually looking at the maximum temperature at which we can actually charge the materials at, again linking with the uh, industrial waste heat projects that are ongoing through IDRI and specific IKC. If we want to capture heat efficiently, then we need a robust material with good thermal transport properties, and I feel we've achieved that with these beads. It's a great piece of research, and it's given us a huge step in the right direction. Nice and warm and toasty. <laughs> wow, you don't feel it. It's quite cold. Yeah, it's hot. Oh, yeah. You feel it? Yeah, straight away. <laughs> oh, my God. They're so warm. <laughs>